Samsung One UI 6 Beta is the latest version of Samsung's user interface for Android devices, and it's packed with new features and improvements. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Beta and show you some of its best features. First, we'll start with the home screen. With One UI 6 Beta, you can now customize your home screen even more with the new app icons and widgets. Plus, there's a new feature called Dynamic Wallpapers, which changes your wallpaper based on the time of day. Next, let's talk about the camera. The camera app in One UI 6 Beta has been completely redesigned with a new user interface and new features. Let's take a look. You can now easily toggle between the 12 megapixel and 50 megapixel lenses by just simply tapping on the top. In video mode, you can click on the super steady icon to turn it on or off you can also toggle between the different formats of filming from 8K to 4K, full HD, 30 frames and 60 frames per second. Jumping into the settings, we have the option for auto FPS. This allows us to use 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second in our videos or completely turn it off. Under Advanced Intelligence, we are able to change from maximum to medium to minimum for our video quality. We can then go into the option for watermark which allows us to turn the watermark on or off. If you want to use this feature, you can also move the date, change the name, and move and change the time. There is also font adjustments. You can also change the alignment if you desire. Now let's jump into the photo settings. If you scroll down, you will see that Camera Assistant, which was a good lock option, is now baked directly into One UI 6 Beta with all of the features that you're used to having, such as Quick Tap Shutter, which can be turned on or off, Optical Quality Crop Zoom, Auto HDR, and many other features. The weather widget has been updated as well to include more information such as dew point and you will see some enhancements as well.
a new default font has been added to One UI 6 beta and can be changed under display, font size, and then you'll be able to select from default. The Samsung one is the previous and default is the new. Next step is the new quick settings panel. Swiping down from the right, you will see the new layout in One UI 6 Beta. Under the new settings, you will notice that the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth have been separated and are easily accessible. You can simply press and hold down on the section and you will see all of the Wi-Fi SSIDs available to you. With the Bluetooth, you can do the same thing, press and hold, and this will show all available Bluetooth devices. Display options have also been separated with eye comfort, dark mode, and the brightness lighter in one section that are easily accessible. You can toggle these on and off as needed. A new custom camera widget has been added. You can go to your widgets, select camera, and you will see the new camera widget. You can add this to your home screen. This will allow you to title it and also specify the starting mode for it to do rear camera and video. Now every time you press the camera widget, it will open in video with the rear camera as specified. The music widget has been updated as well. If you are playing music and you swipe down, you will now see a new player which has a new animation while the song is playing. This is very cool and you can easily expand or collapse it. Another update for One UI 6 Beta is the updated emojis in the Samsung keyboard. You can scroll through here and take a look at any of the new emojis that have been added. I don't use these a whole lot, so I can't specify which ones are new. Next up is the updates to the Samsung Gallery app. Opening the Gallery app and opening a picture, you will now see a small eye icon down at the bottom. This eye icon will give you some editing features such as remastering and object eraser right on the picture instead of having to go into the editing
Another improvement within the gallery is the new menu for object eraser and other editing programs, which you can simply click on the far left, whereas it was in the three dot menu prior to the update. Next up is the change to the Smart Select option. This now allows for size selection, extraction of text, and you are now able to pin to the screen. With One UI 6 Beta, the notifications have been improved and separated with the icon, so they are easier to see in the notification panel. Another update is to the security section. Under security settings, you will find an option for auto blocker. The new auto blocker feature helps keep your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities. With this new update, you are now able to make changes to your lock screen clock, meaning that you can change the different types of clocks but not only that, you are now able to move the clock around on the screen, whereas previously it was only static. To do this, simply press down and move as needed, place and click done once completed, and the clock will now stay in that position. Another update you will find is to applications. By pressing and holding, you now have other options without opening the application. For instance, within Instagram, you can press and hold and go directly to the camera, make a post, or other options that are presented on the screen. Only some applications have been updated. If you're interested in trying out the One UI 6 Beta for yourself, you can open up your Samsung Members app and search for the Z Fold 5 Beta. Once you find this, you can simply select and then click on Register and follow the on-screen instructions. As you can see, One UI 6 Beta also brings new improvements to the notifications shade, the lock screen, and the settings menu. Plus, there are plenty of under the hood improvements that make the whole operating system faster and smoother. If you're already on the Samsung Beta, let us know what your favorite new features are in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.